first time what i did was i just uh, went on online started reading how other people were preparing so one thing common across all the reviews were uh, make the og your bible when you study so that's what i also decided and apart from that i took some free mocks and i had a veritas package so i took that mocks up uh, so i was scoring around 710 720 in those but i wasn't confident enough because there was a huge variation in my at least my verbal score sometimes i was clocking a v39 sometimes v33 okay. so that was uh, an issue for me but uh, i had taken my date uh, prior to starting my preparation because i just wanted to have a deadline for myself mm-hmm. so, and i didn't want to move it so yeah basically i did everything on my own and spoke to a few of my colleagues who had taken gmat before mm-hmm. uh, they shared some resources so my first time my score was 692 okay so i chose to cancel that score because i had a benchmark score in my mind when i went into the test center okay so i didn't achieve that so i decided to cancel my score okay and what were the the quant and verbal splits then so my quant was 49 and my verbal was 34 it wasn't really very organized i just went about preparing like it was a, another exam the gmat is definitely not because the way you need to be prepared to see a spike in the difficulty level and everything i wasn't like really prepared for that so i will say in i had a one word for my uh, preparation it was half as it it was okay. really good yeah so that's why uh, yeah i think cool. i fall yeah so and so that's why basically i got what i didn't wasn't gaming for basically uh for the second time i dis- like the first thing that i came out of my examination room i took a 15 days break because it was really hectic and i wasn't able to give time to my family So I took 15 days off, devoted my time to myself and my family, and then I started preparing again. This time, I decided to take up. Uh, Engl- I wanted to improve my uh, verbal score for sure. So I decided to, like, I went again online, searched a few of the forums for a good English prep, and I came across your platform. So and I then decided to take that up. and i'm really happy that i did that's one of my key decision that took towards my gmat uh so um, firstly my verbal preparation was quite different because in starting itself the videos that you have i realized it's quality over quantity at least when it comes to verbal and you need to know where you're going wrong to improve where you're going wrong so that was the crux of my verbal preparation for the second attempt so what i did was i i religiously followed your videos and went through the verbal scholarium properly and then the error log that it keeps for me really helped me because i could go back see where i was going wrong and then rectify it and try it all over again so for verbal what i did was i just practiced a limited set of questions again and again and i was 100% sure what i was doing for for me my when i started my primary aim was to have my uh sentence correction and comprehension rectified because i was quite confident with my see uh my other part so uh, but when i went through your approach for critical reasoning the approach that you suggested i it completely changed my the way i was approaching those questions and it really helped me to reduce the timings i was spending on those questions okay how, how do you give, yeah. give an example so to give an example the way you have approached it is like uh, you prethink right so before going to my options i have a answer in my mind because i have already prethought what all the conditions are there so instead of getting confused in three answers now i know definitely which of the three i have to aim for 
so i i was pretty confident about my critical reasoning because that was my strong point in verbal but with this approach it actually helped me reduce my timing and i could devote those time to my sentence correction and comprehension okay uh, did you notice how much of a time reduction it cost if if i say like um, i was around 1 minute 40 seconds it came down to around 1 minute 10 seconds so oh wow oh, yeah. that is that is better than my timing so wow yeah so that's what so i was very confident on the cr but your course really helped me in achieving those like yeah. it oh. yeah so that's what that's how scholarium actually helped me to keep my preparation consistent on track because i could see like the first time when i was giving i wasn't very consistent that was my issue that i was wearing a lot like v33 v40 but when i started here i could see i was improving a lot i was a very consistent when it came to i think i might falter again i i never felt it was really hard it was just a matter of structuring your studies when it comes to gmat that's what i feel and another thing that i feel is you have to set your target before you start so when the first attempt i gave my target for quant was a bit low it was only 49 i don't know why i did that to myself yes, this time <laughs> yeah so this time i said i will aim for 51 but 250 is the minimum i'll accept when the score sheet comes up so and for similarly it goes for verbal i had fixed it to be if it's less than 39 i am not going to accept it so that's what before starting you need to know where you want to end up